My name is Whitney Nicole Citrin, and I'm the chairperson of Vocology in Practice. We are thrilled to be here in London at Metropolis Studios with ACM, and we are doing our very first European Teacher Education Forum. It's going to be a great weekend full of voice science, education, knowledge sharing, and inspiration. My name is Aramat. I'm Education Director for Vocology in Practice, which is a network with voice teachers and voice professionals all over the world. And we're very excited to be here doing an event in Metropolis Studios. It's really exciting and everyone's coming here to share their love to voice, to singing, to voice science, to musicality, to being a better artist, and basically to help artists, students, singers to be the best they can be. Hi, I'm Lauren Bao, um, and today I'm recording my vocals and songs for a company called Vocal Kitchen. And I'm Sam Towner, and I'll be assisting Tim with the sounding. Uh, we've been working a lot with this company, and they sent a track to us last night where I could be featuring with an A-list DJ, so hopefully getting some really good vocals would be great. So Tim and Kai have been helping us a lot with this. Um, Kai's especially been helping us with different kind of vocal techniques and Tim's been helping you mainly on the production side of it so we've been recording a lot with Tim and doing a lot of workshops with Kaya. Hi, I'm Kaya Hasdakani and I'm a senior lecturer and creative output artist development coach at ACM. It's amazing to partner up with Vocology in Practice. So we have about four teachers who are Vocology in Practice authorized teachers who's teaching. Uh, plus we have a lot of our other teachers you here today who have been taking part in the conference. Hi, my name is John O. McNeil. I am a senior lecturer at the Academy of Contemporary Music. I uh, have had my major involvement with the Musicians Pathway at ACM, mainly doing uh, work with singers, developing their technique, their style, their improvisation, but also more broadly with the other instrumental disciplines as a more musical director and working with ensemble classes. Kaya, Tim Hawes and myself are going to be doing a session where we are setting up a studio recording and showing people how it's done in the moment. Um, we're going to be talking a bit about how we can look at studio practices, how we can style our tracks, how we can give them identity, all that kind of stuff. So looking forward to doing something a little bit different with this uh, forum. For me, that's all about hope, that lyric. When we reunite paradise, it's seeing something on the horizon, you know? And so always have that in your belly, <laughs> in, in that, that kind of theme in your belly. But also, I just want you to start to let that joy into that vocal. One, okay. two, three. Hi there, I'm Tim Hawes. I'm a senior songwriting lecturer at the ACM in Guildford. In fact, I work across the all ACM campuses. And I'm also part of the ADCO team doing artist development and creative output. And I've come here to actually bring a different perspective. Whilst um, there's a lot here about the science of vocals and technique, I'm here to bring some real world experience from the studio where I've worked with lots and lots of different artists and talked about some of my approaches from a psychological point of view technique, layering, production techniques and editing techniques as well. Hi, I'm Becky Morton. I am a vocal lecturer at ACM. I became a vocal teacher um, because I was originally a singer and that's what I did for a living, singer and musician. And I started um, teaching and I got more into the teaching side of it and the voice science and trying to help other vocalists know their voice and get the most out of their voice and their performance. Hi, I'm Steve Giles and I'm a vocal coach at ACM. I'm here as board member of Vocology and Practice. It's our first event in, in England, uh, London, and uh, normally they're based in the States and we are here with a ton of voice professionals from Dr. Ingo Tietze, Dr. Donald Miller, all the way through to um, Natalie Weiss is doing her breaking down the rest thing right there and, and tons of other people dropping knowledge bombs all over the place. Right. 
being part of uh, something like this means that you get updated knowledge so you, you know we can learn more about how to help our singers and today we'll be having talks from laryngologists and doctors and scientists about how it all works but also how to practically use it and uh, for me I'm on the board for Vocology in Practice and it's really amazing to be able to bring in uh, all the ACM vocal staff to get a bit of updated knowledge, come in with inspiration. I was really here for the voice science element uh, which I've really enjoyed this morning uh, and look forward to putting some of it into practice over the weekend. So the bigger thing for me that I, I get from events like this is uh, the, the buzz, the vibe afterwards. There's obviously a lot of stimulation, a lot of new, new things to take back into the studio to help people with but for me it's, it's this, um, the energy everyone wants to be better and you walk away at the end of the week just thinking uh, yeah let's go and do this. Meeting a cross-section of, of um, vocalists and vocal instructors really gives me more, more, more breadth and depth to my own repertoire of understanding of, of, of vocal approaches and vocal science um, and perhaps stuff that I could actually take back and apply to my own technique and share with my students back at ACM. We are right on the cusp of training incredible singers. So we want to be making sure we're being safe and looking after them well and making sure that the knowledge that is available out there is being made available to them. So it's just great that we are incorporating this into our curriculums and into the way our tutors are being trained.